Hey what's going on guys, in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create and design a pricing table using Elementor Pro Page Builder. We will play around with all the content and designing options of the pricing table widget and make this kind of awesome beautiful pricing table. And all of this we do with some simple drag and drop feature of Elementor Pro plugin. If you want to get this plugin, I give the link in the description, you can get it from here. Okay, let's start creating the table right now. So you can see this is the pricing pages of this website. So in this page under this section, I want to add a pricing table here. So first of all, I go to edit with Elementor. So under this section, I want to add a new section. So I click this plus icon and add a three column section right here. And in the first column, first of all, I want to add a pricing table. So I go to the widget area and search for the pricing table. So this is our pricing table widget. I drag it in this place. So you can see the default look of this table. You can change all the content and all the design from here. But right now I want to change its title and the subtitle. So you can see this is the option for the title. I want to make this as basic plan. So I want to make this text as basic and the subheading as the plan. So after this, this is the option for the heading tag. If you want to make this heading tag a different tag, you can choose it from here. So after this is the pricing option, you can change all the pricing content from here. You can change currency symbol from here. By default, it's dollar, but you can make it euro or any kind of currency or make it custom. But I want to make it the default one. So after this, this is the pricing option. You can change its price from here. So I change its price. So you notice when you write down a full number, only the number is shown. But when you write down a decimal number, the decimal number is shown as this format right here. So there are two different kind of format for this. You can either choose this kind, which is with the decimal point, And you can also choose this kind of format. Okay. So after this, if you offer any sale for your product or service, you can check this button and here is also an option for the original price and then this price will be your sale price okay so after that this is the period so this is basically for the subscription based services or product if you want your user to pay monthly or yearly or quarterly you can set the period from here i want to make it yearly okay so after that this is the option for the features so you can change this feature from here so you can edit each of the list item individually from here you can see this is the option for the first item and you can change its text from here and also you can change its icon any icon from here and also the icon color make it any color like this or if you want to delete this icon you can delete it from here so after that you can also delete any item from here by clicking this close icon and also you can duplicate the feature items by clicking this duplicate button okay so i want to change the other feature text right now okay you can also add an extra item by clicking this add item button right here so after this this is the footer option so in this footer you can see here is a button and also an additional text so mainly this is a call to an action button so when a user clicks on this button they can purchase your product or services successfully so right now i leave this link option as the default one but if you want to see how we can make a real purchase through this button you can follow my other tutorial which is shown at the top right corner at this moment and i also give the link of this tutorial in my video description you can also check this out later so now let's jump into our topic i want to change that button text to buy now and in the additional info if you have to say anything special you can write down it in this place so i write down it here then here is the ribbon option which you can see at the top right corner here you can change its text from here or if you want you can make it to position left or right okay or if you want you can also hidden it by this button so that's all the content option of a pricing table so after that we go to its style option and see how we can modify its design from here so first of all i want to change the background color for this header right now it's gray color you can also change it here from any color 
but I want to make it fully transparent so I make this transparent like this but we can read this text right here so you can also change it from here I want to change the heading color to this color and also the subtitle color to gray color okay this is also the option for the typography of the heading and subheading this is the typography of the heading I want to make its font to poppins okay then you can also change the font size font weight text transform to uppercase or lowercase font style text decoration line height letter spacing each and everything from here so I also want to make its font to poppins and also want to increase its font size a little bit larger okay that's all the header option then we go to the next option pricing so here you also set the background color for this section of the pricing and also can set the padding so I want to increase its padding a little bit to 20 pixel and in the bottom I want to increase this padding a little bit so it's 25 pixel okay then this is the color for this pricing so I want to make it more darker this color and this is the typography option for this pricing text so let's make its font to pop in and also I want to make it font weight a little bit lighter so this font weight I want to make it 500 okay that looks cool so after that this is the option for the currency symbol you can design the currency symbol sign independently so you can increase its size from here and if you want you can also position this to after the price to right or left and also change the vertical position to middle or to bottom or to top so like the currency symbol you can also individually design this fractional part you can increase its size from here and also the vertical position to any position and also for the period you can change the period color from here and this is the typography for this period text and if you want to make it position to beside this also make this as below so after that we will see this feature styling option so if I go to features you can see there is also the background option for the feature and then this is the padding option I want to increase the padding a little bit so you can change the text color of this feature items and also the typography from here can change its font you can play around with the alignment of the text make it to left or right or center and also you can change the width of the text so after that here is the option for the dividers if you don't want this divider you can also turn it off so when you turn it on here are the option for the dividers so you can see you can control the width of the divider from here you can change the gap between the text and the divider from this option right here and you can change the divider type right now it's solid you can also make it dotted or dashed or any kind of type and this is the color for the divider you can change the divider color and this is the option for the divider weight you can change its weight to any weight and after that lastly this is the option for the footer so in the footer we can design this button and this text and this is the option for the background for this area and also the padding option you can change this padding from here and also make the button size to medium or larger or smaller from here so this is the option for the button text color button typography button background color everything you can change from here so I want to change it its typography to font to poppins and want to make the font size a little bit bigger to 20 pixel and then the text transform to uppercase which looks cool and then the background color you can choose any color I want to make it to blue alright then if you want to add a border you can choose any border from here and this is the border width option and the border color option okay so after that if you want to make a rounded corner for this button you can increase the border radius from here like that and this is the option for the button padding you can change the padding from here in this place I want to make it to 15 pixel and in the left and right let's increase the padding a little bit I want to make it to 42 pixel on both left and right okay that looks better now 
and lastly this is the option for the additional info styling you can change its text color from here I choose this color and the typography option right here and also the margin you can change the margin between this button and this text from here I want to make a little bit of top margin from here to 10 pixel so that's all the designing option for this widget right now I want to make this background to white color so I go to its advanced tab and go to the background options and change its background to the white color and also want to the sections background color a little bit darker so I go to its style options and go to the background color to this color like this and I want to increase the top and bottom padding of this section so I go to advanced and the top padding I would like to make it 150 pixel and the bottom padding to 130 okay let's go back to this widget settings and also I want to make some border radius for this so go to the border options and make the border radius to 20 pixel and let's add some box shadow change the box shadow color to this color like this and want to make it a little bit blurry okay so one last thing I want to do to add some top and bottom padding for this widget so I go to the padding option and make the top padding to 8 pixel and the bottom padding to 15 pixel okay that looks cool right now now I want to add two more pricing table beside this in these two columns and then want to change this text and let's make a pricing table with different pricing plans so first of all I want to duplicate this widget and drag this right here okay I duplicate again then let's change the text okay all right we have completed changing our text for different pricing plans so now I really want to do to make the better pricing plan a little bit more focused and special from others so that the user can easily determine the best plans for them and don't spend much more time for choosing any plans from this so first of all I want to change its background from here so I go to this settings and go to advanced go to its background I want to make a gradient background for this so I choose the background type to gradient and let's make the first color to this color and also the second color to this color so you can't see this text properly so now I want to make this text white color so let's make it okay we have almost completed changing the text color right now we want to make this button background color white and the text color to blue so I can change it from here in this background color to make it white and also the text color to this blue one so right now I want to add a ribbon for this table so you know how to do that go to the content option and go to ribbon and make this button on and let's change its text so you can see this design here is broken but don't worry we will fix this from the style tab here you can see an additional option for the ribbon appears in this ribbon option we will set the background color to this orange color and also here is the option for the distance so this is the distance from this corner to the ribbon you can control it like this and this is the text color for the ribbon and the typography and also the box shadow if you want to add some box shadow you can also set it from here now lastly I want to make this table a little bit taller than other so what I want to do is to increase the top and the bottom padding for this so I go to its advanced and increase this top padding by 20 pixel I make it 28 and the bottom to 35 pixel okay you can notice this table is not aligned with this two one so I want to make it vertically center to make this I want to make the top margin minus 20 pixel so I want to make it top margin to minus 20 but oops you can see this design here is broken like this so we can't put negative margin for this widget otherwise it will be broken so we remove this margin instead we will put the negative margin for this column we go to the column settings go to its advanced and make the top margin to minus 20 pixel 
ok now the problem is fixed and it's also vertically aligned so right now I want to click update and want to see what our final pages will be look like so I go to preview all right you can see this modern looking pricing table which looks really cool and we have successfully completed designing our pricing table using this elementor pro plugin so not only this you can also make any kind of pricing table with the table designing option you can see it's much more customizable and here are almost each and every option for all the content and all the design you can change everything from this editor all right so that's how you can design this kind of awesome pricing table using this awesome plugin so if you want to get this plugin you can check the link in my description below you can get it from here and can design much more amazing awesome section like this okay guys that's it for today i'll see you in the next video